after I became Muslim, I started picking up on small things like prayer and fasting and, and stuff like that. And I, I began to live a fairly regular Muslim life. I went to school as a Muslim. I, I went to the masjid after some time. I knew that I wanted to delve further into Islam and I was always looking for ways to learn, ways to uh, deepen my understanding and my spiritual practice. And so I decided to uh, study at Qalam uh, and study Islam and, and Arabic and all of the different sciences of Islam. That was really what began a more profound journey in Islam. I became Muslim when I was 16, which was six years ago. Um, and now I'm a full-time Islamic studies student. Over the years, one of the most remarkable things that I've witnessed is seeing a student coming in and maybe they just accepted Islam, maybe they just became aware of their religion, maybe they just started learning and practicing, and then seeing where they leave and where they're at when they're leaving, where they now have the ability to help other people on their journey. Seeing that transformation is unbelievable. It's like witnessing a miracle before your eyes. And it really shows you the capacity of human beings and how remarkable people are and what they can achieve and accomplish when they put their mind, their heart uh, to something. The thing that transformed me the most was having a teacher who knows me. Like, okay, Fatima, I know who you are. I know where you're trying to get to, so I'm going to help you along the way. And I don't think if I, had, if I didn't have that help, I don't think I would have been able to make the progress that I, I'm continuously making right now. Um, I probably would have just been the same old Fatima, but who just knows more, which means nothing. Because if knowledge doesn't transform you, then you really haven't learned anything from it. It does. Yes, it does blow my mind. More, more than blowing my mind, I, uh, I ought to be filled with gratitude that um, Allah has uh, blessed me with this knowledge and given me the opportunity to study. As a teacher, I think one of the things that I benefit the most from is the zeal that I see within the students um, uh, regarding learning knowledge of deen, regarding connecting to the Prophet um, You see this, uh, this desire to know the Prophet deeper and what that does is it, it rekindles that, that flame of uh, curiosity and the desire to know more. Um, so as a teacher, every day walking in and seeing these students that want to know so much about the Deen um, and are focused on that, um, it kind of recalibrates you. It kind of brings you back and reminds you about um, how precious this knowledge is. You're studying this from an academic standpoint. You're having these very philosophical conversations. You know, you're reading books in classical Arabic. At some point, you get stuck in the books. At some point, you kind of like, if you don't have people to remind you that you're doing this and you're going to have to give back to the community, or you don't go and visit the people in the community, you just stay in your whole your own bubble, then you, you make this your community. So when I started working back into the community recently, it's very humbling. It's very humbling. A lot of people, they look at teenagers and they look at middle schoolers and high schoolers and they're like, oh, like they don't know anything or maybe you just need to guide them. You just, you need to help them. They've helped me a lot more than I've helped them if I'm being completely honest. Some of the most beneficial people in my life and the people that I am most grateful for were the teachers, the scholars, the imams who not only taught me Islamic knowledge, but helped me come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and learn to be a better person. We have many scholars today who fill that need and that void for thousands and millions of people across the world. I oftentimes think about my children and the next generation, who will they have? Who will teach them, who will lead them, who will guide them? And I realized that those people, are, aren't, those people are not going to materialize out of thin air. They won't just fall from the sky. But those people have to be made, they have to be trained, they have to be taught, they have to be mentored and prepared. And that's what I've decided to do, not only with my life, but 
That's what we're trying to achieve and accomplish here at Qalam.